Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to Football Manager 2020. It's episode number 10. I was planning on skipping past this game, but, I mean, come on. It's Derby Day! Swansea versus Cardiff, the South Wales, or just Welsh, as the only two top upper tier teams in the football pyramid. And, yeah, I mean, come on. Matty Longstaff. Both of our goals here at the 70 minute mark, and I actually have not done any subs yet. I think it's time that we start to get that, uh, getting that going. The team has played very well today. Uh, we've been completely dominant. They've had a couple, yeah, um, so so chances. And hey, there you go. There's our third. Kalu with his fourth goal of the season. Uh, Longstaff had both goals from outside the box from the same area. Both of them coming off of free kicks. First one was a clearance that didn't make it all the way out. Second one uh, was a clearance that started to come out and then a teammate headed it down to Longstaff and set him up the same way and he got the same result. Oh, nice shot from Patterson though to get one back and that's definitely my cue to go ahead and make a sub. So uh, we've got Ben Wilmot. We could go more defensive just to make sure we secure the the win, but let's not do that just yet. Uh, Kyle Naughton, maybe. Declan Johns played really well, even though he's only got a 6.9 rating and is complacent, and it's his first start of the year, so at this point, I'll, I'll let him continue. Uh, Patterson, of course, the player who will continue to develop if I let him get into the game. But who do we take out to make room? Uh, Bastion has not done much today. Well, let's go ahead and take him out for Routledge. That's a good start. Right, so we're 19-8 on the shots. They've only had a few on target. Like I said, they, they have not produced much at all in this game. Uh, we've been fairly, fairly dominant throughout. Uh, but that consolation goal, hopefully, is nothing but a consolation goal. And as we get in towards the final minutes, it does appear to be that that is the case. Let's put Peterson, uh, Peterson in for Lundstrom. Can't take out Longstaff at this point. Not when he's sitting on a hat trick. That ball gave it away. That easily picked up. Rodon's header was a little aggressive and he easily could have just chested it down and controlled it. But, Peterson, nice turn over there. Nice through ball, Kalulu. Great sliding tackle to save a potential goal there. I didn't think the keeper had eyes on that. It did look like it was heading towards uh, just inside the post, low. Off to the races, and Peterson with a nice sliding tackle there. So trying to earn himself a little more playing time. Looked like they might have had an offside on that one. Here's Declan John in the Grimes. Matty Grimes ahead to Kululu. Off to the races again, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Second chance, and for the second time in this game, Kululu... Oh, no, 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 sorry, not Kalulu. It was Roberts who had a wide open chance like that earlier in the game, so we've missed two of those now. Kalulu, great job to get behind the defense on that one to try to get us one more to seal this, which I think it's pretty much sealed now, but you never know, you never know. It's just a minute to go, though. But we've definitely given away two clear-cut chances there from Kalulu. This should do it, 20 seconds. Ball into Van Horn, back to Woodman. Why, why do you do that instead of just clear it long? Why we cleared it out of bounds short to give away the second goal is that was just the strangest play right there. Why we just gave that up to give them this free chance and why we didn't have all 11 guys in the box with time up just to get it out of there anyway is beyond me. Uh, Kulu turns this over, and there's finally the full-time whistle. So a completely dominant game ends up a one-goal victory, but three points on the board nonetheless. We'll take that. Uh, I'm not even going to complain about second-half performance. Anytime you can win your derby game, that's going to be good enough. Uh, -da. Let's just calmly say good win, boys. Well done. There you go. And we call that. A game. So we now are in 12th place. Through 14 played, we've got 20 points. It's not bad. That's almost a point and a half a game. And you can see at this point, we're just a win shy of promotion playoff zone. 
that's not bad, especially considering that we were hovering down around re relegation zone through the first games. And we're only 12 in. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, let's go with the delighted. It is Darby match, so you know, rivalries and all that. Uh, not very important, actually. <laughs> Take confidence into the next game. Uh, yes, I do. Did it was a great start. We'll go passionate back that one. As Swansea led, wrote on. It's no stranger to the rivalry. How important to that players understand passion. There we go. I definitely do want to praise that performance. That was fantastic. That should help with morale. Morale was pretty low entering that game. And even though they were poor at the end. That was a good game in general and definitely should boost morale. Just go on past. Now, here's something that I've been meaning to take a look at and have a little bit off camera to see kind of where we're at. There's a lot going on in the development center uh, from laying out specific players. And actually, these are the different, different ones that I was looking at a week ago. So let's go ahead and praise and criticize these guys so they can work on it. Uh, you've got the same thing here with the under 18s available. This is the guy I did just criticize, uh, praise. Let's go ahead and go with this one now. Of course the youth candidates and I've looked there before, but our under 23 staff is decent. Uh, good recruitment team there with one data analyst apparently giving us a big old boost though we are short of physio and that's definitely a thing that we could look at but here we are the under 18s staff now most of my senior coaches aren't working with the under 18s goalkeeping wise yeah we're okay but we are far from good anywhere else so I think We've got two vacancies. I don't want to fill both, but I'd certainly like to fill one of those right away. Otherwise, the under-18s just aren't going to develop terribly well uh, without proper staff. So we're going to go ahead and look for... Oh, there we go. Staff search. Uh, look for an under-18s coach that we can bring in. And let's go ahead and clear that. I start a new search and staff role coaching yeah just coach and we go with not employed so we're not having to pay somebody off and then we're gonna look for coach roles no how about But we go with working with youngsters as kind of a base point. Set that one high. And we'll see who out there is worthy. And and then we need somebody who's actually, you know, coach. Uh, maybe we should add a little bit more, narrow it down a little more. I'm going to pick another one here and... Let's go with determination, adaptability, kind of get those basic coaching things out of the way. And then find somebody who just kind of fits the bill. I'll set that to 17s. 
nobody on the list. Let's see if we can set that to 16. How about if we go mat 3 or 4? Okay, now we're working with the short list. Now this guy's looking pretty good right there. Determination's still good. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I uh, just 24 hours ago was going through my recently passed aunt's house and layers and layers of dust covering her household goods that I'm having to sift through with family yesterday. Uh, not good coaching skills. A little bit better here. So these are a little bit better on the coaches, but n coaching abilities, but not much of anything else. Oh, Obafemi Mertens wants to be a head coach. Yeah, yeah, I know this guy. Played for Seattle for a number of years. Not a big MLS fan, but I am from Washington. Though I'm right across the river from Portland, so kind of have mixed loyalties there. Could be decent in a couple areas. This guy is looking a little bit better, but he's listed as an assistant coach. Man and management, not great. Uh, let's. Oh, there you go. Coach, determination, discipline, and motivating. Adaptability doesn't seem to be a thing. Let's edit that. Wait, that's what I have, isn't it? No, I did not do that right. Let's go back to it again. Uh, coach. Discipline, not adaptability. What the heck? Oh, there we go. No. Where are you hiding? Switch that to discipline. If I can find it. Where are you hiding? There it is. Okay, now we'll see, Ribeiro looks pretty good, can do a number of things, as is Fleming. We got a couple of things here with Kenny Black, but he's head coach. So we're looking at Fleming. Or Ribeiro. Working with youngsters is an 18 here. Fleming is just a 12. So Ribeiro, I think you're our guy for now. Uh, you've got some decent stats along there. Oh, and he's Welsh. Look at that. All right. Uh, love it. Let's approach to sign. We're going to be looking for under 18's coach. See, you knew what I was up to full time. Sorry, desired is about 500. We'll set that a little bit lower, see if he takes 400. I don't want an eight year contract, I want a couple years. There we go. And we suggest. Okay, negotiate. 450. Okay, there you go. Under 18 scotch. We'll 
once we get them signed on, we'll tweak the settings on who's doing what for the under 18s. I even look at the under 23s as well, if I can get through the 18s quick enough. So next up for us is Wigan Athletic on the road. They are currently in sixth place. It's going to be a tough matchup for us, uh, especially with our road woes this season. Might not be the easiest game to come away with something on. Uh, da -da, da -da, left winger. And employed him as a striker. I am okay with that. Especially since we are not using wingers in our primary tactic. Okay, how about Burn? Has some potential. Just 23. Wouldn't cost us anything to get him signed. And he's three stars already. He's a winger, though. I swear, I know this guy. I know this name. Maybe a previous playthrough. I think that might have been what it was a year or two ago. Might have got him on loan from Oldham or picked him up free transfer wise. Let's go ahead and check out this scouting report, see how he does in these other positions. He'd be our best right winger right now, but that of course is not important. So here he is, better than Selena and Byers, who are rotating, of course, through that position. Both have high potential, though, and are young. I like that they are playing well and developing. Uh, Byrne does step on those toes a little bit. Give us more depth. Doesn't enjoy big matches. Of course, that's bad. I need to set my mentoring groups, which is somewhere in here. I'm guessing it's in dynamics or in training. Uh, that's one thing I have not gotten into just yet. And considering it's nearly Halloween, I think I should. Uh, I've already put them on the short list, so let's keep them there. 1-1 one, one with Sunderland. The under 23s. Injury risk, not as bad as it's been. Bastion, not improving, not playing particularly well. He's supposed to be good at penalties, and he's been awful at them so far this season. Batman, how old are you? 18. One and a half stars, not quite ready, I don't think. Okay, here we go. Ribeiro, it's accepted. Why don't I have... Okay, fine. He completes the move without ever talking to me. Let's go into staff responsibility. No, nope, not that one. Ah, uh, there's the mentoring right there. Coach assignments. There we go. But can I get into the under 18s from here? I don't think I can. Can I? So how do we get to that? Uh, just in the development center. Under 18s. Staff. Under 18 staff. Oh, it's a mystery. Where are you? 
already the staff is better. Much better than it was. But again, I'd like to see... Can I affect the coaching assignments for training? That's where I am right now, isn't it? Yes. Need to improve. There you go. Uh, da -da, da -da. Okay, it's not there. That's f for senior team. Uh, we have picked up a couple players though, and some of these guys are not doing too good on workload. But we're going to start adding mentoring groups. And, and that's a tricky one to get into. Uh, units. Maybe I need to make a third unit for midfielders. Grimes and Carroll are in the defensive one. Lundstrom's in the defensive one. Let's see here. Uh, well, let's start with the mentoring group. Players must first be in the same squad, okay. Well, let's start with the keepers. Because they need to be training together. And then we're going to look at... Putting the keepers into one group. Norfelt, as the senior statesman, can do a lot. Oh, does it really? Can I not? There we go. So hopefully Norfelt will help out Woodman a bit. We want to do it positionally. I don't know. We'll see. First time I've gotten into using this. Uh, so Remy Street. We want to keep an eye on personality. Like to have a couple veterans in there. Wilmot. Vanderhorn, of course. Fairly professional, I like that. Uh, Rodon, we'll put in there. Professional Bidwell, so yes, he can help us with that. Uh, Roberts, I don't know. A perfection, well, he's only 24. We'll get him in there. Declan John. Uh, fairly professional for Naughton, so yes, he can help these guys out. So Naughton and Roberts are highly influential. I don't know if I like having Roberts in the group. Yes, he's in the core social group. Uh, and maybe that's something because these... Wilmot is not. He's in the secondary social. So let's pull him out of there. Keep this core group together. Mids. Look for a smaller group here and see what we can get fairly determined. I do like that. Long staff at 19 can really improve. Uh, let's get Peterson in that group. 
Oh, the list is getting shorter too. They could only be in one group. Okay. K. Fulton. Selena Byers. Grimes, there's your leader right there. Professional. And Tom Carroll. And Dyer, fairly professional. K. Okay. All right, Peter's in secondary social groups. So maybe we'll leave him out of there and put him together. Okay, attacking players to put together. We have Surridge, Kalulu, Bastion, and Routledge. Okay, and two of these, ooh, so Routledge and Bastion actually don't need to be in a group. And then all of a sudden you got Kalulu and Surge. So we're going to put maybe I put them in with the mids. What is their Routledge? Fairly professional, yes, okay. And then the other one is Bastion. Put them in that group. Okay, now these are going to be. Can I change the name? Okay, fine. We'll just make this group go away. And then we'll put secondary. And put those guys together. And there's four of them, but they're all young. Uh, hopefully they can. Like Surge can help these guys out a little bit. All right, so there's the mentoring. The one group I worry about is that secondary group that doesn't have anyone in it. Maybe I should pull out like Wayne Routledge and put him with that group so they have a mentor. And mix him with them so he's intentional uh, we are missing shoot uh, I don't have a goalkeeper so I don't have a third goalkeeper and that group not really going anywhere all right there's our setup there's our setup all right so Wigan coming up not sure how quick we can get to that game Let's see if we can So coaching staff slightly improved, but that's on the team side, so we can make sure we are developing players. Evans out for a month with a twisted ankle. That's one of our 18-year-old center backs who's actually developing quite well. Could get himself into the mix, but prior to the end of the season, might earn a call-up and start getting some time, especially if Wilmot's not doing anything. Okay, Connor Shields is now homegrown. Plenty of other guys on their way to that. Team selection, Bidwell back into the lineup. Bidwell had uh, five yellow cards, so he was suspended for that last game. That's why Declan John got his first start. We are not favorites for this game. And Wigan are actually pretty heavily favored. And with our road form, that doesn't surprise me one bit. Ready to start November now. Not a busy calendar. Long staff. Young player of the month. Awesome. He was so fantastic. Uh, passionate. There we go. This is worrying. We're losing so much money every month. 
there's just not much income mostly because everything's coming in in season tickets for us I'm starting to get stronger on our partnerships they're getting better they're definitely getting better performance review solidly a C plus now which is still not great but it's something uh, disappointed with results still but fairly content everywhere else Squad dynamics, good, not great. Oh, Peterson, what's going on, buddy? You need to step that up. Roberts has been good. I think I've already praised him recently, so let's not overdo that. Our secondary tactic is getting closer to being ready. Once we have both of those, that'll make a difference as if we're struggling we can make a change no time to look for those if we're going to get to this game against Wigan so uh, no major injuries to deal with at the moment we're only four points behind Wigan so this is not like we're on different planets or anything but you can see those relationships are starting to form on top and here Lundstrom not quite blending in just yet come on guys let's let's steal a point or three today passionate uh, that's not going to work. Okay, calm. There we go. Straight where you left off. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. we got seven guys fired up for this game. Everybody's fully fit for this game. Fresh. Fitness is good. Morale's better than where it was. It's not amazing right now, but it's good. Can we do something in this game? It's already eight minutes in. The guy who just took the free kick already on a yellow card. That was an amazing kick to get all the way over each side's 11 and get their teammate off to the races, but he could not score. Good save from Woodman. And we end up with an offside deep, not something we do very often. They didn't look strong early on, and there's a goal. Ah, that was kind of poor defensively. We should have had somebody picking this guy up. He got to the edge of the box completely unmarked. No marking at all, no adjustment. Fullback needed to come up with center back sliding over or somebody from the midfield needed to drop back, but nobody saw him except his teammate. Eventually got the cross in there. Whew. Boy, that is three close chances right now, and they're overwhelmed, really? Let's go for the demand more because they have started so bad in this game. Rode on nice, nice ball over the top, Kalulu to tie it. That wasn't going in. That wasn't going in anyway. I don't know why we're even going through the VAR on that one or goal line tech. We don't have VAR for championship. Byers, nice ball ahead to Kalulu. Good first touch. It's into the box. He's got two men on him. He gets all the way to the end line, and then his cross is straight to the keeper. Bidwell to Kalulu. Kalulu over to Borja. And he misses, or how Bastion misses the f just about free header. He's lightly contested by the defender, but not much to it. And that's that's the fullback Sterling who got that goal and is on that yellow card already. Nice play from Grimes to set that up, and no offside. What a play by Grimes there, and we could not take advantage of it. Vanderhorn to reset, not to Grimes though. Lundstrom. 
he's going to reset to Vanderhorn, still in the offensive possession. Shouldn't be taking on the defenders like that. Kalulu! Kalulu! Disallowed by Sterling for offside? What is that? Okay, he's offside. He is offside. The assistant referee completely missed. No! No! No, 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 no. Defense intercepts, and then he comes up and steals the ball. How is that offside? That was a ball straight to the defender. Bidwell, that should be 2-1. But I'll take it anyway. Bidwell with a tying goal. So, we were offside by a lot. But the ball was played straight to Sterling, who had possession, and then Sterling lost the ball. They had possession. Kalu stole the ball from him and put it home. How is that offside? It was their possession, not ours. It might have been offside initially when we started that play, but it had nothing to do with the steal. That was just poor possession by the defender who was already credited with a goal and then bailed out by the referees. That was an abysmal call. I don't see how you call that offside because none of that had to do with the initial offside. That was just a good defensive play by our Gagan press by Kalu. Ah, completely screwed there. Uh, we're level at half even though we should be up a goal right now. We're not doing badly at all if we keep working hard. More to come. Come on, guys. Ugh. All right. Well, two guys are fired up. But at least nobody's in the negative right now. That one ball over the top doesn't make it, but Kululu, again with a nice steal. Roberts on a yellow. Has that ball taken off his foot. Out for the throw. With the goal kick just after. Lundstrom up to Byers. Byers lays it back off for Lundstrom. Sets it back to Grimes. Bidwell. Bidwell's going to have to reset, but he loses it to Sterling before he can reset. And it gets Wigan off to the races. And we do not cover it back in time. Rodon should have done more to stop there being a shot there. He should have blocked it, really. Poor pressure on Sterling. That all started with a turnover. Could we call that offside, too, for no reason? No? I'm bitter. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. <laughs> and we trail 2-1. to one. Nice ball over the top. Pilkington. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, nice save by Woodman. Borja resets. He gets through. He beats his man, but then he takes on one too many. Uh, into the box, but we lose it there. Pilkington racing. Oh, he beats his man way too easy. Poor defense from Roberts on that one. Luckily, the shot was straight into Woodman's chest. An hour into the game, it's time to make some moves. I'm still really mad about the uh, disallowed goal, though, because we would be level at two. Uh, Lundstrom's anxious and not playing terribly well, so let's start there. Peterson... Played really well last time out. Let's get you in there. Long ball ahead. Rodon's going to intercept. Nice ball over to Bidwell. That through ball didn't have enough oomph to it. Again, Roberts missing his tackles. What? Are you kidding me? Where's the foul? And how is that not outside the box? The slide tackle and the ball is outside the box. And now we trail by two. How does Borja not get a goal on that one? Well, this is tap in for Borja. Uh, demand more. Wigan looking for more. We need another. Kalulu with 6.1 now rating. 
though he should have had a goal, which would certainly have helped that rating out. We'd still be trailing anyway, wouldn't we? Oh, what a save by Woodman there. Wigan looked certain to make that four on that shot. Borja gets the cross. Bidwell off the post! Oh. Can't beat him with skill. You and can't beat him with luck either. Luck, not our friend today. I don't think we've been anywhere near as poor as the scoreline suggests. But we trail by two here late. Can we get a consolation? Can we cut it to one? Peterson over to Byers. Byers to Longstaff. And there it is. That's what he did twice in that last game against Cardiff. It was the same sort of shot, same place. And he gets his third in two games. Maddie Longstaff has been doing so fantastic from just outside the box with the long-range shots. Just putting it just inside one post to the other, out of the reach of the keeper. And now it is a one-goal game. And yes, I still fully think that we should have had that goal. That should not have been disallowed. And we'd be level. We'd be on a point right now. Roberts, can we rescue a point here? Out to Bidwell. And... Uh, that should have been in the back of the net. That should have been in the back of the net. I'm going to demand more again. We're still trailing, so hopefully they respond to it. Longstaff, another chance, but this one he's under pressure. It's not the open one. Oh, the guys feel pressured by it, not encouraged by it. Woodman intercepts that ball. That through ball, and we're out of time. We are out of time. Last 30 seconds, and we give it away. Van Horn clears it. Again, we clear it. Bidwell finally takes the ball back, but we are out of time. Final seconds, and that is it. No points. Again, 20 to 12 on the shots. We get the goal and have it disallowed. I might get in trouble for yelling about the refs after this game. We'll see. If if I get questioned about it, I'm going to take the fine. Sympathize? Yes. Uh, team relieved by that. But we'll, we'll see. I, I will take the opportunity in the press conference if it comes up. Very mad about that one. That was a terrible call. Eight for the season. Uh, no. Kalulu didn't seem to have much luck. <laughs> he did. He scored. I say that it was that. Looking to make Longstaff permanent member. Uh, showing everyone what he can do. Let's see. Reaction. Eddie Howe's declaration of interest in signing Mike Vanderhorn uh, to Bournemouth. You know what? I'm not listening to that, so. There you go. Total respect, but not for sale. It does. Let's see. Large swell of support from your fans for your attacking intent. Yes. No question about it. Alfie Mawson close to triggering a clause. 30 appearances from Fulham. 650,000. I like that. I do like that. Oh, and he's, he wants them. <laughs> so we stay in 12th. Really ticked off about that. We should have had a point. One point makes no difference in the standings, but our road form has been poor. We were not poor in that game. We deserved a point. Absolutely deserved a point. But I am out of time for this episode. No chance to complain about the decision from the refs. The not offside that was called offside. Uh, he was not involved in the play when the cross was made. The cross was to him, but it was nowhere near him. He was offside. Yes. But defense had the ball. Defense dribbled quite a few steps with the ball before Kalulu, who previously was offside but now was not offside because they were in possession and held possession for a good long while before Kalulu then stole the ball and put it in the back of the net. 
that's not offside. <sighs> well, another road game without points, whether we deserved them or not. For me, it's, it's another road game without points, and now we've got another one against Chef Wednesday before we go home to Millwall. Uh, Wednesday is in 21st. We need some points. That's the kind of road game that we can maybe salvage something. Millwall right now is level with us on points. Identical records. We've just got better goal differential. So the next couple games are important. Against Sheffield Wednesday, we don't necessarily need a win. We need to get a point out of that game. And I think they're the type of team that we can do that. I will do be doing that game off camera, though, as we'll be coming back at the end of the month for Millwall and Huddersfield. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Decathlon Gamer. I will see you next time. Bye for now.